You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack, and today I have another episode of This Day in World History. Here are some significant historical events that happened on November 3rd throughout world history. In 1493, Christopher Columbus first spotted the island of Dominica during his second voyage to the Americas. On November 3rd, 1534, English Parliament passed the Act of Supremacy, making King Henry VIII the head of the Church of England. And in 1903, with the help of the Wright brothers, Samuel P. Langley's aerodrome, an early attempt at powered flight, crashed into the Potomac River in the United States. And on November 3, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 2, carrying the first living creature, a dog named Laika, into space. And in 1964, Lyndon B. Johnson was elected as the 36th President of the United States in a landslide victory over Barry Goldwater. And on November 3rd, 1979, a group of Iranian militants stormed the U.S. Embassy in Tehran, taking 52 American hostages. The Iran hostage crisis would last for 444 days. On November 3rd, 1986, the Lebanese magazine Ash Shira revealed the existence of secret arms sales to Iran, leading to the Iran-Contra scandal during the Reagan administration. In 1992, Democrat Bill Clinton was elected as the 42nd President of the United States, defeating incumbent President George H.W. Bush. On November 3rd, 2014, One World Trade Center, the main building of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in New York City, officially opened to the public. And on November 3rd, 2016, the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, which aims to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, entered into force. And these are just a few historical events that have occurred on November 3rd. There are many more covering a wide range of topics and time periods. All right, everybody, if you want to leave a comment, go to our website, a to z English podcast.com. Send us an email, a to z English podcast at gmail.com, or join our WhatsApp group and get involved in the discussion. There are a lot of listeners in our WhatsApp group, and we are always interacting in there. I jump in there and comment and talk to you guys as well. And with that said, we will see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.